Hi, Crystal. Waiting for my screen to catch up here. There we go. That wasn't bad. <laughs> Not as bad as usual. Give a couple minutes for people to get here. <sighs> paper towel or so in case I need them and a new stamp platform came down with a cold this morning again I'm not sure if it's a cold or allergies or what's going on in this world because um, the barometer keeps changing Melissa hi hi Pam I'll use this thing more for my wiping my eyes. It's one of those colds where your eyes are con constantly watering. Yeah, I think it might be allergies. I think. I don't know. Oh, this one? Yeah. <laughs> I'm going. I'm going all out today with some different, different, different ideas based on this idea which I'm kind of just waiting for the five o'clock hour to hit so I'll get started. Give people a chance to get here. Got some ephemera. I thought I'm gonna do one with uh, some of these papers. And I thought I'd do a couple with some bright colorful paper too, just for the fun of it. Hi, Connie. Seriously, so I'm sorry if I keep sniffing. It's annoying, I know. But if I don't, things are gonna drip onto the onto my project. <laughs> Hi, Chow. Melissa, how are you feeling, darling? Are you home now? I think there's enough here to get started. So um, I made this one for Technique Junkies, um, you know, as part of my design team projects. And so I thought that I would bring it out because this is such a versatile stamp. I mean, first of all, look at the size of the stamp. It's like $7. And you can get 10% off if you use my discount code. Okay, sorry about that, Pam. <laughs> Um, so it's really good size and it's super easy to cut out. And then this was a companion with the March release. Uh, coffee is the jet fuel for the morning impaired and ain't that the truth for me. I hate mornings when I don't get enough coffee or I hate mornings without coffee and that's not happening. So, um, I'm going to do the first one. I'm going to do my coffee cups first. And I thought I'd do this one as my coffee cup and I'll show you I wanted to kind of grab those little flowers right there um, let me grab my stamp platform I thought I grabbed it already here it is <laughs> and in order to not waste any of my beautiful paper here I think you know we buy a lot of pattern paper and then we just don't use it you know, we kind of hoard it because we don't want to use it. And shame, shame, shame. Okay, let's put it right there. So with this one, it's a pattern that needs to be in a specific um, configuration. Well, that's a fancy word. <laughs> and that, now these stamps, you can't really see, so you've got to kind of guess guesstimate and you can always if you're not sure you can put a piece of acetate in there and stamp down on the acetate first um, I'm gonna stamp this with my VersaFine Claire let's move these guys out of the way for a moment hi 
Hi, Gloria. Hi, Dawn. Perfect. So I know that I need the I need the sleeve to be a different color. So I'm going to utilize part of the back here. Let me go ahead and just rough cut this out. So the sleeve is right here. And I do need to wipe off my stamp because I don't want to get ink where I don't want it. Um, mm -mm. Let's put this in. Right there looks good. And I'm just going to put ink right where the little holder is. Perfect. Ink it again. And then I need to do the top. leave that in there for now and we'll do this cup so like I said before this is really super easy to fussy cut so I'm going to do the cutting first You could use any pattern paper you wanted. That's why I brought out all of these and we're doing more than one, just to kind of illustrate the different looks you can get with this stamp. These uh, Cutter Bee scissors are really nice and sharp. I like them. Now, if you had the wherewithal, you could well, I don't know if you could necessarily take this to your scan and cut because, you know, it's got the pattern paper. It might get confused. I'm not that experienced with my scan and cut yet, so to me, it's just quicker to cut it out. Okay, there's my cut. Let's get my lid and my holder, and then we want to add a little bit of dimension, and I'll show you how I'm going to do that. Better look up sometimes. <laughs> I love Maid of Honor. That's such a good movie. Hi, Peggy. Oh, um, and I picked my winner from last week's live. I wrote her name down. I forgot to bring it over here. The winner of the Zig Markers is Jeanette Elliott. Um, it's funny, that's a, that's my family name, Elliot. We're probably not related. It's a pretty popular name. So, Jeanette, I need you to email me at flownthecoop at gmail.com with your physical mailing address so I can mail them to you. They're all packed up and ready to go. Um, yes, Gloria, I watched until I fell asleep in my chair last night, and that's, if I'm getting too sleepy, I tend to turn it off and put on something boring, because I know, I know I'm going to, I'm going to chair nap. I'm going to finish that thing, and I, 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 yeah, 
I have a terrible binge addiction. Okay. I'll also uh, try and remember to put that in the in the description box. I forgot earlier because I'm just so forgetful, you guys. I keep losing things. It's ridiculous. So I want to add a little dimension in these. And I don't want to get this piece of paper dirty because I plan on using it. I'm going to select a color that's going to be a little bit darker than what we have here and here. And you know, I think I will go with um, you know what? Let's do this. Let's go with Lost Shadow because it's gray, right? Let me find a brush for it. Here we go. Clean this brush off to make sure there's nothing too dark on here. Let's see how this goes. I'm going to start on this darker one and I'm just going to Yep, that's exactly the ticket, the Lost Shadow. Because, see, it doesn't really change the color much. It just adds that little bit of dimension. So it's got a rounder look. Match it up with these. Ugh, I need my extra fingers. Okay, now we'll put our coffee cup together and then we'll do another one maybe one or two and then we'll make some cards out of them let me just clean up because you know me i will spill i get this everywhere let me actually move my mouse out of the way all right so glue i binge watched down abby too Melissa, did I never saw your answer of how you're feeling, honey. And if you're home or what. And I'm sorry, I didn't mean to call you honey. I hate it when people call me honey. It makes me nuts. Feels too Southern. <laughs> sorry about that. So sorry. It's definitely a term of endearment. I get that. Okay, there's one cup of coffee. A cute little cup. <laughs> yes, I know he would. <laughs> All right, so let's get let's dig through these honeybee papers. I've kind of been hoarding these. I want to make sure whatever ones I use that I have a background to use with it. Okay, I do. This one's kind of fun, but the pattern, the straight across pattern either way doesn't lend itself to the shape of the cup. You can't fake it with that. So you need something that's more, yeah. let's go with this one. Speaking of yellow, I've been in a I've been in the yellow zone. Oh, I don't know how that happens. You go into moods, I guess. All right. I think I'm gonna go. I think I'm gonna do some combinations here now. 
Okay. Right, exactly. People coming in the room constantly. I get it. I'm glad you're home, Melissa. Which movie are we what talking about? Oh. Yeah, Gloria, you need to watch Yellowstone. Oh, boy, there's some cute boys in there. Ugh. Lord have mercy on my wicked soul. Sorry, but man, there are some cute boys in there. The lemons for the band, do you think? Were they small enough? Oh, for this band, maybe? Yeah. I think not because they're too big. Um, you know, you, you wouldn't be able to really tell there was a lemon or a lime. I think I'm going to go really crazy here and do this for one part. I think the band for this one. And try and get this so it doesn't, so I'm not using my whole piece of paper. Let me wipe it off here before I lay it down. And then a blue. Okay, let's hope that was right. <laughs> I made it all the way. Nope, I missed some. Okay. Lesson learned. Pay attention, dingy. That's all right. I can kind of feel, which is what I should have done in the first place, is just feel for it. Sure. Okay, and then let's find, I've got this one right here, which is also terribly cute. Hi, Gareth. Good to see you. Okay. Yeah, I love it. Okay. Cut this one out, put her together. You could just sit there and spend hours making coffee cups for future makes. Let's <laughs> uh, that'll fit right there. All right, let's get these guys cut out. I'm just going to rough cut around it and then do the fussy cutting. Okay, well, thank you, Pam. Hi, Cheryl. Uh oh, I feel my voice going. <laughs> That's not good. Not for what I do for a living. I got laryngitis one year and I couldn't talk for the longest time. My family was so happy. No, that's not true. I'm not a big talker. <laughs> I'm more of a listener, you know, in a, in a situation where everybody's talking. I'm more of a listener. Okay, there's our lid. 
Let's get our full mug here, our full cup. So I started with the process of booking a trip to Columbus that I don't know if I told you guys or not, but the trip that was planned with Scrappy Shack, um, things just got complicated, so I backed out of it, but um, not, not mad at anybody or anything like that. It just was, it was kind of a complicated situation with how as a business we were going and it wasn't really going for pleasure <laughs> um but i am going to go to columbus i am going to go to what is this thing you guys me and my memory i'm going to go to this i'm going to be there on friday um to hang out with nancy and tracy Oh, thanks, Gareth. Well, you know, it happens. Old people, you know. But I can get laryngitis and not actually be sick. You know, like not a fever, no infection, nothing like that. Just kind of, you know, allergies, I guess it is. So my only reservation is, is that um, I hate to fly but I can't drive there, it's too far. So, I'm giving myself a couple of days, I put it on a 72 hour hold, the flight, to really think it over and think if I'm willing to, it's, it's about three hours total, an hour and a half in the sky, but um, for each trip, um, you stop off, and I think, North Carolina or South Carolina, I forget which, both ways. But I thought it might be kind of fun to go like meet them in person and hang out and shop a little. <laughs> but I hadn't traveled in so long, I forgot about the logistics of traveling like that. Like for instance, how would I get from the airport to the hotel? So first I'm looking at a cab, right? Which is like $167. I'm like, my hotel room is cheaper than that. <laughs> um, and then Nancy's like, take an Uber. I'm like, I've never taken an Uber before in my life. And I don't know how I feel about that. Um, so then I found a different hotel that actually has an airport shuttle. But then I have to get from the hotel to the... Um, convention center place and that in itself is going to be interesting <laughs> yeah taxi prices that's for sure hi Rhonda all right let's I think I'm going to put this all together and then do the shading oh look at that cute rainbow that would be cute too might do another one with that rainbow I didn't even see that Definitely going to have to do one with that rainbow. She doesn't take any time at all to put one of these together. Ah, see, my glue wants to get cloggy on me. Okay. Let's do, do a little dance. Clean that out. Put the lid on for a minute. Let's, I don't think I want to do lost shadow with that because it's too dark. Let me think of something better. I know. Let's go with, let's go with some Simon Hurley ink. Um, where is it? Grr, where's Wolf? Wolf, where are you? Uh, lost it. Weeping Willow, Tropical Tango, Shady, Gur. Well, okay, then I'm just going to use Gur. 
I can't find wolf. I know it's here. This is kind of brown. Wolf is kind of a more of a gray, which is kind of what I'm looking for. Oh, there it is. I found it. I found my wolf. Let's see if that is a little more translucent. Little better. I'm not looking for super intensity, just a little bit of roundiness. Okay. Just put those right there. Uh, okay, so I had a water sprayer. <laughs> Where'd you go? Oh, there you are. All right, let's do one more cup. And we'll put some cards together. Now, don't like that either. It's too dark. We'll skip it on the next one. So I saw a rainbow around here somewhere. There we go. <sighs> That's going to be way too bright for my taste. Let's see if something would look good with a rainbow. And I already did the polka dots, didn't I? No, I didn't. Um, you guys, look at this paper. I dragged this paper out too. This is, um, I want to say it's Echo Park. It's a real thick, it almost, it's got a texture like watercolor almost. I'm in love with it, but I digress. Let's see, maybe... I think if I do rainbow, I'm going to have to go with a really small print. Let's do this one. I think. <sighs> I'm going to go this direction. Okay. Michelle. Thank you. <laughs> All right, let's go. We'll do our whole cup in this color. So you have to think about your coordinating pieces too that are going to go together with the card. need to re-ink my ink. Yeah, sunny and warm does sound like a good future. <laughs> okay. So then I'm going to go ahead, since I'm going to probably do both the top and the sleeve in the rainbow. Let me see where this lands. Okay, I'm just gonna do the whole piece. Although I only just need the very top of it and the sleeve. first. What's the other side of this? No, that's no, no, no use to us. Uh, oh, uh, Michelle, I am using Technique Junkies. Where'd it go? Where'd the lid go to it? I mean, the bag. I lost it somewhere. It's called, um, oh, here we go. 
this is Technique Junkies Coffee to Go. And what the sentiment we're using as coffee is jet fuel for the morning impaired. It's a very good stamp. It's a good high quality red rubber stamp. And um, the price you can't beat $6.95 and 10% off if you use my discount code TJ10Color. There are a few stamps in my life that are kind of staple stamps, like I'll use them over and over and over again. And I really think about that a lot of times when I make a purchase. Is this something I will use again, you know, other than the novelty of it's new? Because we all do that. And trust me when I say I've been on the Technique Junkies design team for a year, so I've gotten free stamps for a year, the whole set if I wanted it. So I have a boatload of Technique Junkie stamps. But I still buy some because there are certain ones that, you know, go with my lifestyle, the style of things I like to do. And I'll show you one for instance. And mostly they're background stamps and anything to do with cats. <laughs> I'll show you. Oh, if I can find her. Um, well, I love this math stamp and this pillow ticking stamp. And there's one that I don't have a wrapper for. I don't think. Where'd she go? This stamp right here, okay? Like, it doesn't look like anything at all, but this thing is phenomenal. Phenomenal on a um, jelly plate. So, yeah. All right. Rough cut. Yeah, cher it's Cheerios, kind of. Oh, Crafter's Companion, yeah. Um, I spent a lot of money with them when I first started this craft because um, I'll show you and tell you a funny quick story here. This right here, I had never die cut before in my life, and I bought this thing on clearance at Joanne, I think, or maybe Hobby Lobby or maybe Michael's. I don't know. But I bought it, and then I'm like, well, what do you do with it? <laughs> Trust me, I had a rolling pin trying to cut things out with it because I didn't have a cutting machine. So I bought the Evolution from scrapbook.com hand crank, and um, I still have that. And, and it's only been like two years, so it's not like I've been doing this forever. And then um, I got sucked into... <laughs> Uh, HSN and Sarah, I can't think of her last name, with the Gemini. Um, and I bought the gold Gemini. And it was expensive on HSN. And it came with, you know, dyes and stuff like that. I was really disappointed with it um, in that, you know, it, the plates bent so much. But um, I've since found some plates that Nancy introduced me to that don't do that <laughs> I mean they do eventually but not like like when I first got the Gemini I warped those plates out of the box first use and they sent dies to go with it and they're really heavy like steel roll dies and I think that's what bent it <laughs> I don't know I don't know where, I don't know even where I was going with that no idea <laughs> you tried the wrong pin idea too <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I didn't know. So I started watching YouTubes, and I found people. And trust me when I say that I went crazy buying crap that I ended up not using. Um, or using once or twice and then never using again. So in my latest purchase 
is the stamp wheel from Altenew. So I pre-ordered that. Do I really need that? I don't know. Scrappy Shack gave me a um, the Sizzix one um, that, you know, you can do stencils and stuff with it. And I tried it once and then I sent it to my friend Nancy because um, she uses a lot more layering stencils and stuff like that and stamps than I do. So um, I sent it to her and I don't think she's really used it either. She'll probably use it again after the stamp show because she buys the ton and those, you know, are all layering stuff. All right, now let's make some cards out of these bad boys. Let's start with this one. And I took out some ephemera and I need my jet fuel stamp. Watch the time here. Okay, it's 530. Well, I'm glad you found us too. <laughs> it's, you know, it's a gang. So I'm gonna stamp this onto, no, I'm not, I can't, I can't. Yes, I can. I can do this, I can use my paper. doesn't really matter where I put it, but I am going to use my Misty tool. Oh yeah, I need to think about, I need to think about the fact that I'm going to be using this frame. So you don't have to do plain stuff. You can do crazy stuff. Let me grab, I'm gonna grab the archival and ground espresso. Spit it out. Sarah Davies, thank you, Gareth. Yes, Sarah Davies. And your bunny. <laughs> yeah, look how crooked that is, but that's okay. I can straighten that out. That's why you use a piece of acetate. Okay, let's just wipe that off. Wipe this off a little too. Okay, so. I'm just going to take a pencil and kind of draw around this. I don't need it to come all the way out to there, but I need to know where I'm going with it. Get my big scissors out. Trim off a little off of there. Now I didn't do the stitching on these uh, frames that I bought them that way, but it's such a good idea. I'm gonna steal it. <laughs> All right. But if I can buy frames that I don't have to try and cut out, I'm a happy camper. All right. And then I want this to be my background paper. So I'll go ahead and trim this. Uh oh, it's hooked on there. And we're gonna go for by five and a quarter. See, this other side is cool too. All right, so 
This might hang over a little bit, which is fine. This is gonna pop up, probably like this. Um, I'm not sure I'm crazy about this. Well, I've got some ephemera too. Let's, let's look at how that might look together. Definitely there's a bird involved with my coffee. <laughs> Actually, I have a bird feeder right outside my work window. So just kind of thinking about my composition here. Stop moving. Uh, if it hangs over a wee bit okay so first things first I'm going to put this down on a craft card base do I want to use this one no because it's sideways I made a lot of card bases today. That's what I do when I have nothing to do <laughs> or I just don't feel like doing anything. Okay, so this can go, that can go. Let's put this one down first. I think I want it to go directly in line here. that okay I hear George yelling George is our adopted cat and let's throw a little number on here oops drop it I'm going to pop up my coffee cup and we've got ourselves a little collage going here which you know can serve as a card so you can do collage and make it onto a card no problem let's see here I don't want to cover my words at all. Well, come on off of there. Come on, be carefully. Carefully. <laughs> yeah, I'm not getting that off. It's stuck to the ephemera. That's okay. You can still tell what that says. There's card number one. All right, let's go crazy here. We need card number two. We need, uh, let's do this yellow cup that we did. I wanna clean that off and I think I can. I think I can, I think I can. It's just too much for me. Yeah, I can't do it without wrecking the paper. So I might come up with a different idea for that. Let's find a background for that. Nope blends in too much. Would I do something that crazy? No. 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 Lemons are too busy. 
I think I like this one. Cover exactly, and I have, I have some sparkles, trust me on that. All right, let's give that a chop chop. So we're gonna go for my five and a quarter. And I think I'll do my jet fuel on just white paper. I could, what I could do is do, see I took out a die here, or Jugo. I took out this die, which I used before, and I could actually, I think that's gonna be the plan. Okay, so let's do, stamp platform out. I'm going to try and get that sort of straight. And I've got a piece of accent opaque here, which is, this is 120 pounds, I think. I need enough space around it to be able to cut it out. And when I think about this, I think <coughs> Excuse me. I think I'll go with the Burst Fine Claire and Warm Breeze. And then heat emboss it, maybe. Because if I don't, it's going to smear. Yeah, it was a good answer, Gareth. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to fit this on here. This is a cool little, this is also one of my very first dies that I bought. And I think I bought this one on clearance at the same place. And I'll show you what's really cool about this one once I get this cut out. So it cuts not only this, what is this? Hair. Where did that come from? <laughs> it cuts this little frame. If I can get off the tape here. And so I could take and do this frame in yellow. Do I want to do it in yellow? I could actually, oh, I have an idea. Where is that yellow? Where is that yellow? Where's that yellow that I used? I could actually cut it out again. Oh, don't recall using the whole piece. There it is. Let's cut it out in yellow. And then we'll stack that. Hey, Jeanette, congratulations, you won.
All right, I'm going to need my extra fingers. You did, yeah. You need to email me. Um, at, you can either email me at fourlinksnobsclub at gmail.com and um, just make sure you put my name, T, just the letter T if you want, um, in the subject line. I'll need your physical address to mail them to you. They're all boxed up and ready to go. My email is blownthecoop at gmail.com. So either one is fine. Get that excess glue out of there. Okay. La 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 la. I keep losing my water. And then my rag. Okay, so in this case, the coffee cup's going down first. And then the sign will go up over top of it. I think we'll go like have to think about the composition here. Okay. So the coffee cup will go straight down. I can't really pop this up if I use that thing as a frame, but I like it as a frame. Do the frame first. I mean, there's no way I could cut this little frame like using two die cuts. No freaking way. I would have it a hot mess everywhere. And that just took care of that really dark spot. Now I could still pop this up. Yeah, I think I will. Yeah, yeah. Good idea, you guys. <sighs> now I just need to make sure I get this straight. card base and when I say I cut card bases today I cut card bases today we're talking a monster amount and I think I have a blue that will work what a happy card thank you thank you very much have any brightly colored ephemera but I do have some things. Where did I put them? Um, oh, here they are. I have confetti. Turquoise. This is light turquoise. This isn't all I have. This is just the stuff I got yesterday. This is all from this Calls for Confetti. 
Cal has a link for that. There's some yellow. <laughs> Let me grab my little tools here. I haven't even opened these yet. It's so like I said, I keep buying stuff. Like I bought all those because I love the colors so much. <laughs> Am I really going to use them all? I better make a lot of shakers. But I know it won't have enough if I only get four or five, <laughs> right? Let's see here. Find a bigger one. And these are the little no hole one, but they're still cut. So I want to make sure I'm setting them down the right way or they don't glue right. They're hard to glue. Okay, there's those colors, that color. I don't want to go too crazy with it. Thank you, Chow. I also buy from Glitter Lambs. Um, she makes specialty confetti. You know, like right now she has some Yellowstone confetti. <laughs> Come on now, Yellowstone. But these uh, iridescent ones are brand new to um, this calls for confetti. I'll go with a medium sized one. Whoops, see that one got itself flipped over. There we go. Whew. Got hot in here. <laughs> is it hot in here or is it just me? All right, so now I get to figure out the configuration. I'm no Kathy Zilski. I can never get these things configured. <laughs> you have all the things. That's right, Connie. <laughs> Is that what counts? Having all the things. That's how it feels, huh? And don't worry, this glue dries clear. Oops. I'm not, I have a lot of problems working with my left hand. In fact, that's why my right hand fingernails look terrible all the time because I do my own nails and I just am bad with my left hand. <laughs> like, really bad. Oops. I'm back here. Oh, I know why I'm extra warm. I had a cup of coffee before I came live. And I took a Sudafed to try and help my... There, okay. There we got our little sort of, I don't know, fun colored coffee card. Let's do the rainbow one. What time is it? Oh, yeah. If I'm quick, we got time for the rainbow one. Let's find a background that's suitable for our rainbow. Not another rainbow, that's for sure. Only thing is, is that pattern bugs my eyes like crazy. Green. Thank you, Michelle. Yeah, it's a great stamp. Okay. This will be our background. And I think I will, ooh, take a risk and maybe stamp directly on it. We'll find out. We'll see if I have the nerve. <laughs> Five and a quarter. The thing is, you kind of have to put the coffee pot cup on a tilt. To me, it just feels weird sitting straight on there. 
it feels more whimsical if it's tilted. Let's get the, I lost my Misty, where'd you go? <laughs> you guys, see I lose big things. Like, the Misty is no tiny thing to lose. Where'd you go? Here it is. <laughs> yes. So, this I'll have to think through, and I will use a piece of acetate if I can find one. I've got a mountain of them here to make sure that my stamp goes on the way I want it. Not even close. Let's turn it like that. Ah, shoot. Now sometimes when you're wiping it off, it wants to jump off. I think it goes something like that. Mm -mm, not even, not even close. Okay, let's just turn it manually. And I'll just throw a little ink on here. Don't need much. All I'm trying to do is get placement. Okay, except for it needs to come over a little bit. The, this is what messes me up, is knowing which direction to move things. Okay. Happy with the placement. And I'm going to do black, but look at that, my magnet is just going wherever it wants to go. <sighs> See if I can find my VersaFine Claire. I know she's here somewhere. We used her earlier. This is what happens. Yeah. You guys all know that. I don't need to tell you. Where'd you go? There you are, stinker. Save this for another time. Um, no, that's wrong. I'm, le I'm leaving it because there's really not any other choice. I've already stamped it down. It looked right, but now it doesn't look right. Okay. Fine, you want to be like that? <laughs> Get a new one. I think there were two in here. What's on the other side of this? No, definitely not that. Oh, well, maybe there weren't two. Yeah. Oh no, that's different, okay. All right, guys, see what I did here? Okay. <sighs> Think about this. Okay, I know what to do. Where did the pieces, the parts go? Pam. Hi, Stacy. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to totally, totally cover it and see. This is why you save stuff. 
And it's okay if it's sticking out a little bit. But now the trick is getting this stamp down evenly on there. I got fingerprints on it. Yep, I'm losing, I'm losing it, y'all. <laughs> Um, now, how did that bother me? It bothered me because that didn't feel straight. Where is my... Alright, now this time, don't give up. Get it straight. Oh, heck no. I mean, it's in the right configuration now, but it's just needs to scoot over this way, which means in my brain needs to come over about a notch this way. Everybody say your prayers. I kind of actually like it on the, in this color on that, but I'm going to go with the black. Ha! You're not going to beat me. You're not going to beat me, little stamp. I think this stamp is like $5. And don't forget my discount code, TJ10COLOR. Save 10%. Okay. Where's my cup of coffee? Right here. I feel like I need one other thing on here. It feels naked. All right, what do I have? What do I have? Let's grab some ephemera here, of some sort. <sighs> if I have any rainbowy. No. could do a heart. <laughs> Look at all these magnets stuck to this heart. Um, I'm looking for something I've already uh-uh, not that color. one. That's some ephemera I have on hand real quick that's colorful. All my ephemera is Timmel's, so it's not the most colorful. Yeah, 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 I feel better about that. <laughs> I feel my phone going off here, but I don't know where my phone is. I think it's over there. Okay, I'm going to pop this one up, so I'm going to go ahead and grab a card base. Oh. <sighs> Definitely not lavender. Definitely not bright green. Maybe blue. Maybe light blue.
Yep. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> Amazing. Now what is that garbage from the floor? You know, a lot of my stuff lives on the floor. Especially when I'm working on a project. Okay. We'll get this down on here. I feel like I cut this wrong. So let me trim this. This is what happens when Tracy gets in a hurry. <laughs> oh, did I just refer to myself in the third person? That's terrible. I hate that. Okay. Start here. Let's go. Here. Ah. Let's go. Here. Ah. Better. I like to keep these. They're fun to decorate with. Okay. Now, pop up our coffee cup. La la la. A craft room organize. No, no, Gareth, because every time I organize my craft room, I can't find anything. And so I feel like I shouldn't organize my craft room. <laughs> Should just leave it like it is. <laughs> okay. Now let's get some, I think I want, I don't know what color confetti I want on here. I don't know that I want any confetti on this one. I think I like it without. Yep, I like it without. All right. So, we got three cards using Technique Junkies Coffee is Jet Fuel for the Morning Impaired. And I go hook and lost it, the one I showed you guys earlier. I can tell you what it's called, but it's called Coffee to Go. But I can't find its wrapper. Here's its stamp itself. I have to find its wrapper, but coffee to go. And it's listed in my description box with a link. We got a sort of Tim Holtzy looking one. We got two really whimsical looking ones. And I'm sorry I went over by almost 10 minutes, y'all. But that's all I got for you. Um, if you like this video, please consider giving me a thumbs up on the way out. Um, you know the drill. If you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. And you know what? You can give me a thumbs down, too, if you want to. It won't hurt my feelings. Yes, it will. <laughs> See you guys. Bye-bye. Jeanette, don't forget to email me. Bye. I'm really leaving now.